Hey girlies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Today I have a perfume video and I'm gonna share with you my perfume collection, but I'm gonna do a little twist. I'm gonna rate them one out of five. So all my luxury perfumes, body mist that I have from Victoria's Secret and everything else that I have, I'm gonna share with you. So let's get to it. So first I'm gonna start with Victoria's Secret. I love Victoria's Secret. I can't imagine my teenage or preteen adolescence without Victoria's Secret. I am a pink girl, like Victoria's Secret pink, but I never really got into their perfume, their body mist. I always went to Victoria's Secret. So these are the three current Victoria's Secret body mists or body sprays that I have right now. I'm also gonna share with you my number one favorite, which I don't have right now, but if I have a picture of it, I would definitely share it with you. So the first one I'm going to share with you is this one. So this is actually the latest one that I have. It is called Dream Angel. I got this about, I think, almost two years ago. And this is how much is left. You're going to see from my collection. I'm not the type of person that can like use a perfume in all one year. I'm happy to say like I can make my perfumes last for almost three years, maybe even four years. I use it, but I do my best to make them last. So this one is called Dream Angel. It is a body mist or body spray. I love this smell. If I find any keynotes or key scents, I will put it on the screen. So the scent that I get for this, it's like the typical Victoria's Secret body mist body spray. It's sweet, some floral in there, but it's also sexy at the same time. This is really great for every day, especially if you're going to the gym and, you know, let's say you don't have to shower or you don't have time to shower, you put this on and it's really great. But it's also very, not strong, but it lasts a good amount of time where if you want to wear this like Friday night or Saturday night, you can also do this. So this is perfect for every day, but this can also be a great date night type of set or night out set. So if I had to rate this out of five, I would definitely rate this about a 4.8 out of 5 because I really do like it. Like I said, I bought this two years ago and I'm trying my best not to run out of it. Recommend this scent. Once again, it's called Dream Angel. Hopefully they still have it. One con that I don't like about Victoria's Secret is that when you have a favorite scent or perfume from them, they do reproduce it, but when they do reproduce it, it's always a different scent. Like they always switch up the ingredients and it's never the same or the original, which I do not like. But yeah, I really love this. When I smelled it the first time in the store, I just had to have it. There probably is different varieties of this one, but if you ever find this one in store, definitely check it out. I really recommend it. That I want to share with you is this one right here. This one is called Pure Seduction La Creme, and it's a fragrant mix, as you can see. And then the main components of this is caramel apple soft gardenia um so yeah so when i think of this i think of it as caramel as they sway like a sweet sexy cute powdery type of scent i'm gonna smell it really quick oh yeah <laughs> this definitely takes me back when it says caramel apple i definitely get that scent like an apple type of flavor but it's also very sweet this is perfect for fall and winter. It can be quite a little bit heavy for spring and summer, but if you like me and you sweat a lot, I definitely recommend to use this. I always try to keep an extra one in my bag, but um, this is how much I have. I'm trying to use this one more than this one because I tend to go for the Dream Angel more than this one. Plus, um, this one's like more on top of my counter and this one's down below, so I tend to forget it. But yeah, this is just a typical great Victoria's Secret body mints or body spray. Um, it's great for every day, maybe at nighttime, but I would say if you want to do nighttime wear, definitely go for this. But when I think of nighttime, so for example, if you're just staying at home and you're relaxing, then this right here, if you want to smell sweet and fruity, this is definitely your go-to. And I love how it says um, the cream, like it's a very soft, lightweight type of scent. That's definitely the perfect name for this. So I definitely, definitely love this scent. 
and then the bottle is just really pretty if i have to give it a rating i would definitely rate it i would say a 4.6 out of 5 um it's such a nice smell but it does kind of fade away quickly i wouldn't say right away but when i say which one would last longer i think the dream angel lasts a little bit longer or this one fades away this is definitely a good every day you're going on errands you know if you want to keep this in your car or your work bag this is perfect to have um and of course you can run out of this pretty quickly if you use it a lot but yeah i would say a 4.6 out of five if you're not a fan of apple or something like sweet like you don't want to smell like not young but i guess like early 20s type of young this is definitely the vibe for it if you want something a little bit more mature and sexier then i would say dream angel is definitely more so dream angel is more like mature a little bit more sexier and this is definitely more sweet fruity girly type of vibes so my last victoria's secret spray that i want to share with you is right here so this is called night sip i think it's from a newer collection where they cater just for nighttime wear i haven't used this as yet you can see it's all the way filled to the top um i haven't used it yet but it's like violet petals and champagne let me smell it real quick it's a it's a good smell i think i think my mom gave it to me because she bought one so i have so i have one but um it kind of reminds me of this one but maybe a little bit sweeter but not too sweet because it is for nighttime and i don't like to have an intense smell when i'm going to bed i think this is really good you know if you want to wear this at nighttime and that's all you want to wear when it comes to nighttime i usually wear this one another nighttime one that i love was bare vanilla which i'll talk about in a little bit but yeah i think if you want something particularly for night definitely go for it can this be worn throughout the day like not just night i would say so but the scent is very very um it's not intense as these two this is particular for nighttime so since i haven't used it yet i'm just going to give it a three out of five because i haven't used it yet but just the scent i'm getting for it it's not as omg compared to these two it definitely kind of fades away and doesn't grab my attention as i expected but if they had a vanilla version then i'll be all up on it so yeah this one i would say a three out of five so that is all my victoria's secret perfumes or body mist that i have two others that i want to share with you that i love but i don't have it with me is the victoria's secret tease rebel that was like my first and favorite victoria's secret perfume i love that one so much if you ever smelled the original one that one is just perfect for me that one to me is a five out of five i do want to get it again if i can find it online and so and still in the original i would love that and another five out of five that i recommend is the victoria's secret bear vanilla i just ran out of it earlier this year or late last year i was able to maintain that for about four to five years i love vanilla so when it came to nighttime, that was my nighttime scent, the Victoria's Secret Bear Vanilla. So those two are my five out of five. Hopefully I get them back in my collection, but I definitely recommend it. So the next perfume I want to share with you is this one. Put it right here so you can see it. This was actually a gift, and as you can see, it is almost done. This is something that I use every day when I had my internship when I was in school. I would say it's a really great perfume for work every day. You get that nice scent, but it's not too overwhelming and it can last a good amount of day. You may have seen this before. I never heard of it until it was gifted to me. Um, I will smell it. So that scent of, I get is definitely a little bit of fruity, a little bit of sweet, not super strong or intense, which I like. Maybe a little bit of powdery. Um, as I said, it was really good for every day at my internship. When I went every day, I sprayed it on. I felt like it consumed my scent. Um, I never felt sweaty after using it because when I used to move around, it just held me down. I would say it was like my big girl perfume without having to use my Victoria's Secret or my Luxury perfume. It was just a great um, item to have in my collection. Um, I haven't used it since I don't go to my internship every day and now I graduate and I work from home. So now I'm starting to use it again. So I'll definitely give it a rating of, I would say a good four point let's say a four point six out of five because 
it is good when I use it, but it also is not memorable. Like there are moments where I definitely just left it alone and I don't reach for it. But there are moments when I need it and it definitely does its job. So I'm going to give it a 4.6 out of 5. This is the Prada Paradox Perfume. It came out two years ago over the summer. I remember when everyone went crazy about it. It definitely did catch my attention. It was really pretty. Um, this was my first ever Prada perfume and I was really into it. It was so nice on Pinterest and Instagram and I decided to get one from Sephora. As you can see, the color of it changed, which I'm very disappointed in. Um, if you know before, the original color is like a pink color, but now it's a yellowish gold type of color. So that's definitely going to go into consideration when I score it. But let's go to the scent. It still smells exactly how I bought it, so that's good. Maybe it faded away just a little bit, but the smell, I mean the scent didn't change dramatically. It reminds me of vanilla, a great everyday scent. I would say more of an intense version of the Dream Angel or of the this one right here if you like this but you need something just a little bit more stronger or a little bit boost then i would say the prada one is good for you because you can use this for every day and you can also use it at night time so if i would rate this i'm gonna give it a 4.3 out of 5 because the color change and I didn't even have it for such a long time and I know that it's common um, perfumes that the color can change but since this was so popular and so in demand I thought the quality of it would be better I didn't want to think that it would change compared to my YSL I had this longer and the color hasn't changed at all same thing with this YSL I had this longer than the Prada and they haven't changed but the Prada went to change it's kind of funny because they actually made another version of this and who knows if that color is going to change as well. And the scent is still there, but maybe because I haven't used it a lot, I won't be surprised if the scent did change a little bit because of the color. But it is still a great scent. Um, I'm happy I got it Sephora and I'm really happy that I didn't get the bigger size, meaning I would have spent more money and I would have been upset. So definitely keep it in mind, if you're going to go for the Prada Paradox, the color will change. YSL Libra Udu Intense. I really, really love this perfume. I bought it, I think, 2020 or 2021. It's almost three years, and I love it. The key components is that vanilla, which I love. And I got the Udu Intense, which is perfect for winter, fall, and it's just nighttime in general. I'm gonna give it a smell. Oh my god, I love it. it kind of reminds me of the Dream Angel and the Pure Seduction put together, and then a little bit of the Victoria's Secret Bear Vanilla. Those three together gives me this right here. It's that sexy, kind of soft, but also Udo Intense because it's a tense um, version um, type of spray. Um, you'll see more in the keynotes because I'm not the best at describing it, but it smells really, really good. I love this. I'm going to give it a 4.9 out of 5. I really do love it. Because it is intense, I don't use it all the time. And I definitely do see this more as like a winter and fall type of perfume. But since I loved it so much, I decided to get its sister. And that is right here. This is the YSL Libre Udu Toilette. So this is like the lightweight version of the Udo Intense and I still love it. It also reminds me of vanilla, a little bit more softer and lighter. This to me is more like spring and summer and the Udo Intense is more fall and winter. So this is what it looks like. Really, really nice. Even though it's an Udo Toilette, it doesn't fade away quickly and it's not like watery. It's light like lighter than the Udu Intense, but it's a little bit more stronger than the Prada. So the Prada, you get that sweet, kind of floral, everyday type of wear, stronger than the Victoria's Secret, but the YSL is stronger than the Prada, in my opinion. So if you like the Prada, but you want something just a little bit more intense, but not this type of intense, like the YSL Intense, then this is like really perfect. Like it just meets in the middle of four point nine out of five because i really do like it i definitely need to use it more 
but I love it. So I would say both of these, I'm going to give it a 4.9 out of 5. I, I love my YSLs. And it's funny because I don't have the original. I think I did smell the original. But I don't know. I just love these more than Tense and the Toilet too. Lena Perfume. I got this, I think, a year ago, a year and a half ago. This is what it looks like. That iconic perfume bottle. It's very pretty. comes in so many different colors. I decided to get this small version. So let me smell it. Yep. Still smells just like how I imagine. It's a very powdery type of scent. I can be very particular when it comes to powdery scents, but this one wasn't too bad. I had the Gucci Bloom, which was definitely powdery, and I did not like it. I ended up selling it, so I was a little bit hesitant to get this, but it's still a good type of scent. Like, the powder doesn't overwhelm me or turn me off compared to the Gucci Bloom. If I'm going to give it a rating, I'm going to give it a 4.3 out of 5 because it is a nice scent, but because the powder is still the main component, it's not vanilla, it's not floral, but it's also good for like an, um, I would say like an event, if I'm going to a party, graduation, if I'm going to a wedding, this is definitely something nice to have. Because I can always wear the YSLs and the Prada, but if I want to wear something finally different, then this will be perfect for me. So if you love a powdery type of scent, I would definitely recommend this um, type of Delina. And of course, you got that beautiful bottle. Miss Dior, and this is the Udon Toilette. This is my first ever Dior perfume that I had in my collection. This is what the bottle looks like. And then I'm gonna give it another smell. Reminds me of my Chanel Coco Mademoiselle, which I don't use anymore. I gave it away, but a little bit more lightweight because the Coco Mademoiselle Eau Intense I had was too intense for me. Like I would wear it for the day. Even after I shower, I would still smell it. So I like this better. I really like Toilette's perfumes because it can be quite sensitive, but even though it's Toilette, it still gives you exactly what you need. So this one, this one is more powdery, but this one isn't. It's not, it does have like a floral type of scent, but it's not sweet compared to this right here and the Dream Angel. Actually, it kind of reminds me of the Dream Angel when it comes to like that sexy sweet type of scent, but this one is way more. Um, and you can see from the keynotes. I'm gonna smell it again. Yeah, this is definitely something, like I said, I wouldn't use it every day. This is definitely more of at nighttime, special occasions, similar to the Delina. So this is a little bit too much for me for every day, but you can use it every day. I would definitely say it's great for spring and summer too because it's a toilet, it's light. If it's hot, I'm not going to feel sticky or anything. It's not watery as well too. So if I'm going to give it a score, I'm going to give it about a 4.4 4 out of 5 because I'm still getting used to it and I haven't used it a lot. But I do like it better than the Delina because it is powdery and I'm not a powdery type of girl. But this one I'm still going to use too, but I do really like it. So I'm going to give this one a 4.4 4 out of 5. And there you have it, girlies. That is my perfume collection. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you enjoyed those ratings, and I hope those keynotes help you out. If you have any questions, definitely leave them down below. Definitely comment, do you have any of these perfumes? What do you think about it? If any of these perfumes are on your wish list, I'd love to hear about it. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big like, and of course, explore my channel for more fun-related videos about girly aesthetic. That is my thing for this channel. So thank you so much for hanging out with me, girlies. Till next time, bye.